Okay, welcome to this presentation on how to deal with foamy stock with your Drainac 3B Automatic Online Freeness Analyzer. Alright, when it comes to dealing with foamy stock, uh, what you have to concern yourself with are the analysis probes, and in particular, the probe settings. Uh, we're talking about things like probe sensitivity and the switch points. <clears throat> Uh, we will take a look at what the probes do during normal conditions and then also uh, what uh, they do during foamy stock conditions. Uh, then I'll give you a, uh, an approach on how to accommodate uh, foamy stock by adjusting the uh, operational parameters of the, uh, the various probe uh, settings. So, moving on, let's take a look at the probe settings. Uh, the probes, and there are two of them, there's a, uh, an upper and a lower probe are used to detect the, uh, detect the level of filtrate in the analysis chamber. Uh, each probe has two settings. There is a sensitivity and a switch point setting. Uh, these are accessible through the configuration menu of the Drainac. The sensitivity is basically a gain vector, uh, a, a volume, if you will. It amplifies the, uh, the resistance that the, the probe sees, and this is adjustable. It's just a numerical multiplier. Typically, most drain acts have settings, uh, sensitivity settings of roughly 5 to 10. Um, the switch point is a resistance level. Uh, resistance, uh, resist resistances that are higher than a switch point are going to be interpreted by the system to mean that the probe is exposed, just hanging out there in air. Uh, resistances which are lower than a switch point will mean that the probe is immersed. It's uh, immersed in filtrate. Um, graphically looking, uh, the uh, probe switch point is the dashed line. Uh, resistance values which are higher are going to be uh, exposed or interpreted to mean that the probe is exposed and lower are going to be interpreted to mean that the probe is immersed. The sensitivity uh, would basically change this uh, scale that's currently from 0 to 120. It would take it from 0 to 240 or 0 to 1,000, 5,000, whatever. <clears throat> Um, so this is what uh, probe resistance uh, uh, would look like uh, in normal uh, stock conditions. So you would have a value, uh, a high value, typically a couple hundred or something like that, and there's going to be some variability associated with it, but it'll be a couple hundred, pretty high resistance, up until the time that the filtrate will actually hit the lower probe, or one of the probes. Uh, when that uh, filtrate hits the probe, the resistance drops to a low level, often zero or one or something of that like nature. And that's pretty typical for uh, a normal condition. When you get foamy stock, uh, you actually get intermediate values. Uh, and this is kind of typical. You'll get a drop down as the foam first hits it, and then it tends to rise up and... Uh, up and down, up and down, until the filtrate actually gets up to the probe, at which point it just drops down to its normal level. The problem is, is that uh, you can get these false immersions, and uh, sometimes they can last uh, quite a few seconds. And when that happens, that's going to introduce noise into your analysis. So what we would like to do is to discriminate against that as best we can. And the best way to do that is to basically drop the switch point. Uh, try to drop it below this little uh, 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 these false immersion swings in the resistance. Now sometimes you have to increase the uh, sensitivity to be able to kind of tease this out. Uh, it's not uncommon to have uh, uh, sensitivities of 30 to 50 or something like that so that you can really see this behavior uh, manifest itself. But once you do, you try to find out what this low level is and then set your probe switch point somewhere between that and the actual immersed level. Uh, that's pretty much a straightforward way to do it. I've written a white paper on it, which is available through uh, the Thompson Equipment Company website. So that's about it. For more information, please contact us, uh, Thompson Equipment Company, 504-833-6381. Uh, uh, our email address, sales at tico-inc.com. And, of course, you can always reach us on the web at uh, www.tico-inc.com. Thanks very much for your attention.